In mathematics, there are usually many different ways to construct a topological tensor product of two topological vector spaces. For Hilbert spaces or nuclear spaces there is a simple well-behaved theory of tensor products see tensor product of Hilbert spaces, but for general Banach spaces or locally convex topological vector spaces the theory is notoriously subtle. Topic. Motivation One of the original motivations for topological tensor products caret display style hat o times is the fact that tensor products of the spaces of smooth functions on r n display style math b r caret n do not behave as expected there is an injection c infinity r n c infinity r M left arrow curving right C infinity R N plus M display style C carrot inf T math B R carrot N O times C carrot inf T math B R carrot M hook right arrow C carrot inf T math B R carrot N plus M but this is not an isomorphism for example the function F x y equals e x y display style f x y equals e caret x y cannot be expressed as a finite linear combination of smooth functions in C infinity R x C infinity R Y display style c caret inf t math b r underscore x o times c caret inf t math b r underscore y. We only get an isomorphism after constructing the topological tensor product, i.e., c infinity r n caret c infinity r m C infinity R N plus M display style C carrot inf T math B R carrot N math op hat O times C carrot inf T math B R carrot M Kong C carrot inf T math B R carrot N plus M. This article first details the construction in the Banach space case. C infinity R N display style C caret inf T math B R caret N is not a Banach space, and further cases are discussed at the end. Topic: Tensor products of Hilbert spaces. The algebraic tensor product of two Hilbert spaces A and B has a natural positive definite sesquilinear form scalar product induced by the sesquilinear forms of A and B so in particular it has a natural positive definite quadratic form, and the corresponding completion is a Hilbert space AB, called the Hilbert space tensor product of A and B. If the vectors i and bj run through orthonormal bases of A and B, then the vectors ibj form an orthonormal basis of AB. Topic. Cross norms and tensor products of Banach spaces We shall use the notation from Ryan 2002 in this section. The obvious way to define the tensor product of two Banach spaces A and B is to copy the method for Hilbert spaces, define a norm on the algebraic tensor product, then take the completion in this norm. The problem is that there is more than one natural way to define a norm on the tensor product. If A and B are Banach spaces the algebraic tensor product of A and B means the tensor product of A and B is vector spaces and is denoted by A B display style A O times B the algebraic tensor product A B display style A O times B 
consists of all finite sums x equals i equals 1 n a i b i display style x equals sum underscore i equals 1 caret n a underscore i o times b underscore i where n display style n is a natural number depending on x display style x and a i element of a display style underscore i in a and b i element of b display style b underscore i in b for i equals 1 n display style i equals 1 l dots n when A and B are Banach spaces, a cross norm P on the algebraic tensor product A B display style A O times B is a norm satisfying the conditions P A B equals a B display style P A O times B equals A B P A B equals a B display style P A O times B equals A B. Here A and B are in the topological dual spaces of A and B, respectively, and P is the dual norm of P. The term reasonable cross norm is also used for the definition above. There is a cross norm pi display style pi called the projective cross norm given by pi x equals inf i equals 1 n a i b i x equals i a i b i Display style pi x equals inf left sum underscore i equals one carrot n a underscore i b underscore i x equals sum underscore i a underscore i o times b underscore i right, where x element of a b display style x in a o times b. It turns out that the projective cross norm agrees with the largest cross norm, Ryan 2002, Proposition 2.1. There is a cross norm epsilon display style for epsilon called the injective cross norm, given by epsilon x equals sup a b x a element of a b element of b a equals b equals 1 display style the epsilon x equals sup o times b x a in a b in b a equals b equals 1 where x element of a b Display style x in A O times B. Here A and B mean the topological duals of A and B, respectively. Note hereby that the injective cross norm is only in some reasonable sense the smallest. The completions of the algebraic tensor product in these two norms are called the projective and injective tensor products, and are denoted by a carrot pi b display style a operator name hat o times underscore pi b and a caret epsilon b display style operator name hat o times underscore ver epsilon b when a and b are hilbert spaces the norm used for their hilbert space tensor product is not equal to either of these norms in general 
Some authors denote it by sigma, so the Hilbert space tensor product in the section above would be a caret sigma b display style operator name hat o times underscore sigma b. A uniform cross norm alpha is an assignment to each pair x y display style x y of Banach spaces of a reasonable cross norm on x y display style x o times y so that if x w y z display style x w y z are arbitrary Banach spaces then for all continuous linear operators s x w display style s x to w and t y z display style t y to z the operator s t x alpha y w alpha z Display style s o times t x o times underscore alpha y to w o times underscore alpha z is continuous and s t s t display style s o times t l e q s t if a and b are two Banach spaces and alpha is a uniform cross norm, then alpha defines a reasonable cross norm on the algebraic tensor product. A B display style A O times B. The normed linear space obtained by equipping A B display style A O times B with that norm is denoted by a alpha B display style O times underscore alpha B. The completion of A alpha b display style o times underscore alpha b which is a banach space is denoted by a caret alpha b display style operator name hat o times underscore alpha b the value of the norm given by alpha on a b display style a o times b and on the completed tensor product a caret alpha b display style a operator name hat o times underscore alpha b for an element x in a caret alpha b display style a operator name hat o times underscore alpha b alpha b display style o times underscore alpha b is denoted by alpha a b x display style alpha underscore a b x or alpha x display style alpha x a uniform cross norm alpha display style alpha is said to be finitely generated if for every pair x y display style x y of Banach spaces and every u element of x y display style u in x o times y alpha u x y equals i n f alpha u m n dim m dim n infinity display style alpha u x o times y equals i n f alpha u m o times n dim m dim n a uniform cross norm alpha display style alpha is cofinitely generated if for every pair x y display style x y of Banach spaces and every u element of x y display style u in x o times y alpha u equals sup alpha q e q f u x e y f dim x e dim y f infinity display style alpha u equals sup alpha q underscore e o times q underscore f u x e o times y f dim x e dim y f a tensor norm is defined to be a finitely generated uniform cross norm 
the projective cross norm pi display style pi and the injective cross norm epsilon display style var epsilon defined above are tensor norms and they are called the projective tensor norm and the injective tensor norm respectively if a and b are arbitrary banach spaces and alpha is an arbitrary uniform cross norm then epsilon a b x alpha a b x pi a b x display style var epsilon underscore a b x l e q alpha underscore a b x l e q pi underscore a b x topic tensor products of locally convex topological vector spaces the topologies of locally convex topological vector spaces a display style a and b display style b are given by families of seminorms for each choice of seminorm on a display style a and on b display style b we can define the corresponding family of cross norms on the algebraic tensor product a b display style a o times b and by choosing one cross norm from each family we get some cross norms on a b display style a o times b defining a topology there are in general an enormous number of ways to do this the two most important ways are to take all the projective cross norms or all the injective cross norms the completions of the resulting topologies on a b display style a o times b are called the projective and injective tensor products and denoted by a gamma b display style o times underscore gamma b and Lambda B Display style O times underscore Lambda B There is a natural map from A Gamma B Display style O times underscore Gamma B to a Lambda B Display style O times underscore Lambda B If A display style a or b display style b is a nuclear space then the natural map from a gamma b display style o times underscore gamma b to a lambda b display style o times underscore lambda b is an isomorphism Roughly speaking, this means that if a display style a or b display style b is nuclear, then there is only one sensible tensor product of a display style a and b display style b. This property characterizes nuclear spaces. Topic. See also Hilbert space Banach space Frechet space Locally convex topological vector space Nuclear space Tensor product of Hilbert spaces Fredholm kernel Projective topology